My name is Polly Zuckerman, and I'm a dietetic intern at the Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas, Texas. Today I'll be discussing a highly controversial and misunderstood topic, supplements. How are supplements regulated and are they safe? Well, you may be surprised to know that supplements do not have to be proven safe or effective by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in order to be advertised and sold. The health claims a supplement makes do not have to be proven or even truthful. With that being said, some supplements may be beneficial, while others can be ineffective and harmful. Popular supplements most nutrition professionals, like registered dietitians, don't recommend are weight loss, fat burning, or detox supplements. Although there are many dangerous pills and powders out there, there are definitely some that can be great for your health. My personal favorites are multivitamin, fish oil, probiotic, and calcium and vitamin D. So multivitamins furnish nutrients to help improve your diet and provide the amounts recommended daily. Fish oils contain omega-3 fatty acids that play a key role in fighting inflammation, supporting brain function, and lowering your risk of heart disease. Probiotics promote healthy gut bacteria, also called the microbiome, as well as support the immune system and may even indirectly help with other conditions such as acne. And studies have shown that many Americans don't get enough calcium and vitamin D, especially the elderly population. These two supplements together support bone health and strengthen immunity. I buy these supplements regularly, but stay away from other quick fixes you often see on the market today. Finally, before trying any supplements, discuss it with your doctor and do your research. I've listed some links below to learn more about the safety and regulation of supplements. Thanks for tuning in.